Okay, today we're going to be demonstrating inlet and outlet views for the pelvis. Uh, the routine views for this are going to be a pelvis, and then you will do an inlet and an outlet view of the pelvis. And probably the easiest way to remember which is which is you're going to angle out on the inlet view, and you angle into the body on the outlet view. Okay, so that's sort of an easy way to maybe remember which is which. So we're not going to demonstrate the pelvis because we've done that previously. So we're going to start here with the inlet view. Film size is going to be a 14 by 17, and it's going to be crosswise. Okay, our tube angle is going to be 40 degrees caudal, and that's for male and female. Okay, so our, our uh, centering is going to be where we palpate the as is, and our centering is at the level of the as is, and at the MSP. Your collimations is going to be to the skin margins, or yeah, and then to your IR borders. Now this is best going to demonstrate the pelvic ring. Okay, our technique is going to be about 81 kV, and it'll be center cell. Okay, this again is going to be demonstrating uh, the pelvic ring uh, for the pelvis. Okay, now we've got a right marker here on the film. Now the next view we're going to be demonstrating is going to be uh, it's going to be the outlet view. In the outlet view, we're going to have two different angles. If it's a male, our tube angle will be 20 to 35 degrees cephalad, and if it's a female, it will be 30 to 45 degrees. Okay, so we're going to raise the film, we're going to change our angle, okay. and I'm going to recenter. center lock, center to the film, leave our marker on there. Now this one here, the way our centering is going to be, it's going to be at the low, it's actually, it says it's one to two inches below the symphysis pubis. Another way we can check this, it's going to be about the level of the greater trochanter. An easy way to fill that is you're just going to come to the outside of the leg and you're just going to start pushing on the leg and as you come out, the greater trochanter will actually protrudes out more. So it's sort of soft, 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 and then you get to a point that right there it protrudes out and that's the greater trochanter. So that's the level that we want to center in. Okay, again it will still be to, I'm just using my finger as the guide, and it's coming out here on my, you can see the centering on my finger. And it's going to be to the MSP of the patient. Film size remains the same, it's still going to be a 14 by 17, it's still going to be crosswise. Now what you're looking at is a little bit different. And I'm actually going to just read this to you because I think it will be a whole lot easier. You're going to look at the superior and inferior rami of the pubis, and you're also looking at the body and ramus of the ischium. That's what's demonstrated and what they're looking at. And so the first view is for the inlet outlet, I'm sorry, for the, for the inlet is for the pelvic ring, and again this is the uh, outlet view, and we're angling into the body, and it's looking at those things. Now these are going to be demonstrating our uh, inlet and outlet views for the pelvis.